It's good, YouTube. We're back. This is the first Riz Academy in 2024. You see the glow on me? That's because I'm glowing for y'all. Nah, no cap. I'm just happy to be here with you guys today. I'm going to put that right there. How you guys doing? I hope everyone had a safe, safe, safe new year. And like I said, nah, seriously though. Happy new year. Today's Riz Academy, we're just going to really talk about confidence and what confidence can actually do and how we're going to use that confidence to get actual dates. Ah, dates. I love dates. Don't you want to go on a date? Get more dates in 2024. Yeah. But for now, let's just bang out that intro. do it all right so today we more so want to speak about the confidence and how confidence attracts to getting dates all right so perfect example of confidence you see this shiny ass shirt i got on i'm feeling like some dude in the 90s who you don't want dan uh, you don't want him dancing in your videos damn my boobs was just mad stiff do not roast me in the comments for my step ass dance moves do not do it. Just don't do it. But we're going to talk about how to get more dates and confidence. How confidence is key. You know what I'm saying? The number one thing it raises is confidence. If you don't have confidence, you're not going to be great at what you do. So just remember that. Um, there are different ways to get dates. Um, my favorite way to get them um, is in person. Um, sometimes not everyone has that social skill to get them in person. So they go to like dating apps such as like Damn, I haven't used them in so long. Tinder. Tinder is the one where you swipe on it. Um, I think Facebook has that now. Um, so, like, a lot of people use those. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with those. I mean, if that's what you want to do. I think people shun them. Um, I just personally don't use them because it's not my preference. I kind of like in-person interactions because, like, in-person interactions really give you that, that vibe that vibe you look at floor floor ah uh, you see what i did there you know what i'm saying it's 2024 and i still can't get a video right i still can't do it in 2024 i'm not good at this youtube thing anymore by the way somebody told me i need to order my shoes um one through whatever order i got the jays in because they're tired of seeing all my shoes all right no i'm just joking with you i'm, I'm gonna work on that i promise the support you guys are giving me on a road to a thousand um I'm gonna start there and say everything has been great. So let's just get right to what we wanna talk about and that's getting more dates. So notice I talked about the shoes cause I'm gonna segue to style. Um, whether you're on Instagram, in person, whatever the case may be, both sides, male and female, you gotta have that drip. And when I mean by that drip, it don't have to be designer or clothes. You just have to be well put together. And that's that's very, very important for the other side. I know that, that cuts into hygiene, but hygiene is your body smelling good, you smelling good, cologne, cologne. But you can't have a clean hygiene and then your ass out on ripped t-shirts and then she wants to go somewhere nice like a concert or a comedy show and you know, you just don't have no nice clothes. You don't you don't need diamonds. Uh you might need a shiny shirt, like cause this shirt is a wavy, man. Drop some likes for this shirt. You know what I'm saying? I got this shirt like two years ago. And you know me, I don't cap, I don't lie. I got this off Sheen. That was this my only ever purchase off Sheen in my life. Like at the time I think I was in I was in a um Yeah, I was I was dealing with a young lady and uh she just was always on Sheen. So I was just like, oh shit, let me check she now and she had this little drip for me so i just put a drip on because i want to be on my who's not who's not selling who's out who sell out in stores hey i want to be on that swag but back to the video um you got to be well put together you know it doesn't have to be gucci uh you know make sure your beer is good um 
If you notice, I'm pulling my beard out because I'm trying to make sure the beard look good for you guys. You know, low shot. I like the, the rough five o'clock shadow look. I'm doing these. So I have my hair braided back. I can't stand those. So find something that you're comfortable with, like your style and make it your signature style. And then find your signature style then kind of everything else falls into place from there. So I think the most important thing for you to know is just really just have a good set of clothes to put together. And once you do that, you're in business. Now that you got nice clothes, nice sneakers, um, your outfit's not fully done and put together without confidence. Um, I know most people are like, oh no, these, what about the car? We get into that part. Calm down, calm down. You need confidence. Um, that's you. Everything about you is you. And like that you is such a bland term, but it's you. And once you become comfortable with you, it's a wrap. In 2024, also, I think a lot of, well, now it's 2024, but like, I think a lot of people are always looking for the perfect date or the perfect situation to put yourself in. Um, go catch different vibes, kind of figure out um, what vibe meshes best with you. Um, this is speaking from someone like that. That's kind of like my strategy. Um, I'm not currently dating or anything. So at the moment, but in the past, that has worked for me. But um, I always look at it from a sense of like, you really, really, really need to find like what meshes with you in order for it to be really successful. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, what they do is like, they'll go on these apps, uh, swipe away. You might find the love of your life there. You might find your worst nightmare. I don't know. But, like, if you, like, do what I just told you to do and catch different vibes, you'll be able to split that up, and then you'll have that whole in-between. I got to back up to get that space. You know, get that whole in-between. And then maybe somewhere in the, someone in the in-between gives you that common ground that you're kind of looking for, and that gives you, like, the best opportunity to have success in your data life. Um... So just remember, um, be clean, have confidence, and and I would say be open-minded. Number three would be open-minded because finding the in-between is being open-minded because you're looking for your perfect, that's your worst nightmare, but you have to be open to finding something in the middle. You know what I'm saying? And then as far as cars go, um, you don't need foreign cars. That shit cap. I, I know people are always like, well, it's easier to get this if I have this kind of car, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have a Beamer and a Benz. I own a Beamer and a Benz. That is not going to change from what the kid in the Infinity could do, the gentleman in the Honda, the professional who has a six-figure business that chooses to, to car service around which I think the guy who car service around probably is going to outdo the, the dude with the McLaren, the Benz, and the Beamer. He's going to outdo us um, all day. He's going to outdo us all day because he's a professional. He has his shit put together in, in that particular way. But that's just a personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever say another man is better than me. I don't ever say I'm better than another man. That's just a personal opinion. That's how I see it. Because, it's, you know, you may have a penthouse or something. You know me, I'm just in my little townhouse with my my sneakers. I probably got a penthouse worth of sneakers behind me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, back to what I'm saying. Most importantly is just being clean, having confidence. Don't worry too much about the car. Get there. And if the vibe is right, you guys can orchestrate, um, you know, if the vibe's good, she'll bring you home. I, I never suggest... Uh, if, if it's obviously if the situation's good enough, I never suggest having a woman pick you up to bring you on a date. Just Uber your ass to the restaurant or wherever you're going. Um, don't do that on date one, um, asking for a ride. I mean, there's nothing wrong with asking for a ride. I promise you that. There's nothing wrong with that. But on date one, I personally wouldn't do it to ask for a ride. Now, if you want to, like, ride home, you guys live close to one another, cool. But you got to make sure the date is so vibey that when you slide into that, she wants to be around you that long to be able to do that. I mean, if not, just jump in the Uber, take your ass home, and get home safe. You know what I'm saying? 
And I always don't recommend like a lot of dudes do like movies. I I swear to God, I haven't been in the movies in so long. Last time I went to with a girl with a movies to the movies, I don't even talk to her anymore. But the movie was incredible. It was Creed 3, by the way. But, so, it's like, ah, uh, you dig? Uh, it's, it's, it's give or take when it comes to that. But, look good, feel good, open mind, because that allows you to be free. You master those three, you'll be wherever you want to be. You know what I'm saying? And you'll graduate from Riz Academy all day, every day. You dig me. But I want you guys to continue to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. New Riz Academies will be coming in starting next week, three times a week, so we can wrap up season one. Um, and if you guys are really, really liking season one, we're going to a season two. But until then, I'm trying to keep these videos shorter and sweeter. But also, I'm really just trying to get everything out in a creative fun way so none other than your boy peace from the key